He's got us in such a bad position right now with with Ukraine and Russia because Ukraine's not winning that war. And they've lost those gorgeous cities with the golden domes that are a thousand years old, all because of him and stupid decisions. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. If we had a real president, the president that knew, that was respected by Putin, he would have never, he would have never invaded Ukraine. Take a look at what Trump did in Ukraine. This guy told Ukraine, he told Trump, do whatever you want. And that's exactly what Trump did to Putin, encourage him, do whatever you want. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban, the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. given 200 billion dollars now or more to Ukraine. He's given 200 billion dollars. That's a lot of money. I don't think there's ever been anything like it. Trump, I never said that. For, for one minute, I just want to go back to my original question, which yeah. is, are Putin's terms acceptable to you? Keeping the territory no, in acceptable. Ukraine. No, they're not acceptable. He will drive us into World War III, and we're closer to World War III than anybody can imagine. You want to have a war, just let Putin go ahead and take Kyiv, make sure they move on, see what happens in Poland, Hungary, and other places along that border. Then you have a war. You want a World War III, let him follow and win, and let Putin say, do what you want, NATO. Just do what you want.